What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Wild 8 for a little bit more survivalification. Hope you guys are stoked about it because I absolutely am. I'm like ready to play. I'm ready to do this thing. I'm ready to get my feet wet. We got a rec room over here. Apparently I need a universal hub key for that. Uh, do I need it for administration? You need an administration key for that one. So that's an entirely separate key. Kind of log that away. Now that I can see, what is this right here? We got cabinets. Should probably store stuff inside of here would be my estimate it'd probably be a good idea we got a card box let's loot this place i think that's our next best step is to kind of just go through and get everything we've got a portable heater oh and we've got an ear flap hat nice dude yeah uh obviously we're gonna use the ear flap hat yeah you gotta have the ear flap hat that's one of my favorite head accessories good old-fashioned ushanka uh, can i put down like a can i craft like a storage crate inside of here that's like, I want to put a storage crate inside of here, or at least find the crate that has the most space. And start putting stuff inside of it. I want to put some batteries inside. Basically, I want to start condensing loot from this place all inside of one location. I'm probably going to keep the portable heater with me. That way I can actually, like, use it. And we'll throw that in there. I'm kind of hungry right now. We should probably get on top of that. Yeah, dude. Let's eat our food before we run out. We might as well get that meter slightly filled back up. Now, were there any other crates worth searching around here? Yeah, I was going to say, we got cabinets over here, too. What's inside this one? What you got for me, cabinet? Bandages? Chemicals? I'll take all that. What you got over here? My lovely. Hello. Ooh, scrap. And a med kit. Yeah, boy! Anything over on this side? No. I don't think I went through this place very thoroughly. There's a possibility there was like a taped up box or something that I didn't get all inside of, although I'm having PTSD right now. From the taped up boxes that has got done moving and frankly i'm kind of like done with taped up boxes taped up boxes can go away i got a few too many of those i got taped up boxes coming out of my ears right now and we do have the flashlight over here if we take that to the crafting workbench i'm pretty sure we can use that to illuminate our way we got to come back by like day 38 it looks like and if we come back by like day 38 we should be able to do something out here so not enough resources I have a broken flashlight, yes. Where did the broken flashlight go? Put that right there for right now. I don't know exactly when I'm going to use it, but we're going to use it, I promise. Then I've got batteries over here. Let's go ahead and get this thing charged up. I need to get my stamina worked up too, dude. My stamina is terrible right now. All right, so we actually officially have like a flashlight. And it looks like we can kind of just use that as we want. I don't know if I can turn it on or turn it off, but it's a start. Our hat is giving us, like, nice nature resistance, too, which is pretty sweet. I've got enough medical supplies to where I'm not going to carry around all the northern herbs with me. Actually, I'll put the batteries in there. The northern herbs are going to be more useful on the lamb than the rest of it. I've got a navigation terminal right now. Oh, I can stabilize the base from here. Nice, dude. Sweet. All right, well, let's get on out here. we got a wolf to smack. I need to make this place, like, inhabitable and safe. So I think when we approach, we are facing this direction. Looks like we got power lines up to the north of us. I think it's probably a good idea for us to stand out and take care of that, too. They want us to investigate the power lines. Stand out above the ground, even if I gotta turn out the line. The night is the only place you'll see. I'm gonna stand out, do you notice me? Dude, it bugs me that, like, a Goofy movie is no longer Disney canon. Like, they eliminated Max and, like, everybody else from, like, Disney entirely. They're not a thing anymore. You think I'm kidding? They just, like, deleted the entire Goofy Nebulous. Dude, I'm about to get whacked. This is not good. Yeah, let's get a med kit going here. Don't mind in the only face that you'll see. I'm gonna smack a wolf until he dies for me. Yeah. Let me get that meat, too. Get some of that food in there. Apparently, these mushrooms are, like, extra cold. They are refrigerated right now. I mean, it's always worth it in this game to get off the beaten path and look around. You will find, like, other places that you can kick it at. Like, I'd be interested in investigating that location right there. Just because I don't think we've been there yet. And there may be useful resources that I can patch together in order to, like, survive and thrive. Northern berries? Yeah, we are a little low on food right now. I mean, we can make a campfire and resolve the issue entirely, but yeah, let's go south. We're going to check out, uh, we'll pick up mushrooms and things while we're on the way. I should probably make myself a new weapon, too. Yeah, throw that in there just so we've got something equipped. 
I'm just gonna kind of graze while we're on our way south. If we find anything like delicious and useful. Hopefully it'll keep those meters from like falling off. I, I try like with combinations of verbs like that, like falling off is never a good thing. Like nothing that falls off is ever a good thing unless it's like the pain has fallen off. I guess that would be like the one situation in which falling off would be a good way to describe something. But in general, what's going on over here? Just like a car? Okay. I can salvage some scrap. We'll make a spiky club once we get back to base, I think. Is this just like a parking lot or is it people parked out behind like a bunker or a warehouse or something? It looks like there's a building right here. Probably give it a look. Is there a door on this side? Oh, there is. It looks like it's the vapor diner. So yeah, it's a diner slash vape supply store, just in case you need to get yourself some of that sweet, sweet oil. Um, yeah, I'll take those, I guess. I don't know what cool stuff we're gonna find in here, but I'm hoping we find something. Let's use the flashlight for now so that I can see. Got energy bars, yeah, that sounds good. Eat like both, oh, we got a stomach ache. I guess if you eat cold food. Interesting. So what they're saying is don't eat cold food. Cold food is a mistake. If you eat cold food, you're going to hate yourself. All right. Well, I've got peanut butter over here. We can eat that. I'm sure that'll help out a little bit. Can I get in through that door right there? No. I don't see anything else useful laying around. I was hoping there might be like a gun or like a weapon leaned up. A winter cap. Exactly. That's the kind of stuff that I'm looking for. I think. Got a battery right there. All right. Some more peanut butter couple of cabinets that can all be looted. I might save some of this stuff for later. What is that right there? Oh, no, a trap. Ow. Yeah, that's how my face got blowed off by a booby trap. What kind of jerk puts a booby trap in the middle of this place? What a dush. Genetically modified onion seeds. Do-it-yourself taser. Okay. Locked cabinets, a repair kit, refrigerators. Okay. Well, I mean, there was stuff inside of there that was useful. Uh, I think we should probably deploy down. Like, let's take our... So it allows you to convert ore into iron over time. We'll put another one over here. We've got the resources for it. So if I can put, like, one of these at, like, every major location. I think that sounds all right. And then we can smelt like so while we wait. Because, you know... Smelting and delting. Splattercat's in the business of it. If I can get some of these workbenches upgraded, I think that sounds fantastic. I was thinking about the fact that it had the little cook icon in it in the first episode, and I was like, oh, well, maybe you have to have it highlighted, otherwise it won't work. Yeah, there's the iron right there that we needed. So I'm pretty sure we can upgrade this guy right here. Oh, dude, I need more ore. Luckily, we have ore, like, right here, so... Easy peasy lemon squeezy. We'll use up the remainder of this pickaxe, and then I'll probably chuck our other broken tool, too. Nice. Okay, so with the workshop... Oh, I need one more. Why you gotta do me like this, game? Why you gotta do me like this? I love the way that the graphic for this thing changes as it levels up, too. That's really, really nice. I like that a lot. So now we can make level 2 items, which, like, healing salves is the main one that, like, I am down for. Uh, why can't I make more healing salves? Oh, you need wood. You've actually got to cook it. Okay. Uh, well, then let's take this, and we'll throw that on real fast. We'll break this while chopping some trees, because we're completely and totally out of resources right now. Come along. Yes, get it done. Very nice. I appreciate you, tree. I'll probably use this for its unintended uses right now, which is mining, but if I can make another pickaxe, I'd be pretty happy, too. Let's chop down another tree or two, and we'll get up to, like, 80 wood, and we'll decide what we want to do with the things we have invested. Yep, just a little more. All right. And then, do I have the things right now to make a pickaxe? I can make a spiked club, which would be pretty sweet. I can also make armor and cold resistance, so that's an option. I can hang out next to this thing to stay warm. Can I cook meat inside of there? I can. Nice, dude, because we're hungry right now, so I would love to do that. Come on, meat. Pop on out. There we go. Yup. Nom 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 nom. I guess I'll just use my hands for now. Not many other options. Handing away. I don't know how many it took. Did it take 10 or 15 for the pickaxe? It's five. Okay. I can live with that. I'll put the pickaxe in over there. And now... We will put a whole bunch of effort into getting some resources. 
It actually looks like this is an endless vein. So I'm going to farm up right now, and I'm going to put the excess stacks, like, inside of our workbench. Like, why not? We might as well have an extra stack of, like, every resource inside there in case we got to do any major crafting projects, right? It seems logical to me that that would be a really, really good choice. And so, like, if we can just deforest a little bit around this location, we can use it as an away base to get warm and kind of take care of ourselves, if nothing else. There we go. There we go. Get in there, man. Yeah, knock those trees back. The forest don't know us like that. The forest got to understand the supreme hegemony of man. Sitting over here with its twigs being like, ooh, I'm so superior to you. Like, no, you're not, tree, and I will destroy you. Uh, let's put this inside of here, and we've got a little bit of excess right there. I think, yeah, let's get the healing poultices done so we don't have to worry about healing anymore. That's all good to go. Uh, I'm going to eat that guy real fast. Yep, a little candy bar right there just to get the meter filled back up. Uh, inside of our shelter... I need to take all this stuff back, and I need to throw it inside the shelter elsewhere. But I'm going to put the hat inside of here. That way it's all taken care of. We can cook up some mushrooms on this side, too, for dinner. Uh, inside the shelter, how many level ups do I have? Oh, I got another hunting level up. Nice. So we can get leather, too. Leather's pretty important. So I just want to have the possibility of this stuff dropping before we go too much further. Uh, especially since that's the next thing we need for the upgrade of our shelter. We've got movement speed. That sounds good. Oh, we got a wolf. Hold on. We got ourselves a we got ourselves a wolf over here. Give me a spiked club real fast. There we go. And then we'll go with the eight key right there. Gonna fight this guy. Man, these wolves are tougher than I remember. Like these wolves are not playing. Oh, the health bolt has got nerfed. The health bolt was used to be pretty good. Now it is not good. And it doesn't look like it stacks up either. So it's not going to heal me faster just because I stacked it. Yeah, you better run. You better flee, bro. Oh, we got a wolf claw. Sweet. And we got some meat, so that's dinner, if nothing. Like, hey, dinner's dinner, man. Dinner's dinner. Fighting one wolf really cost us, like, all of our resources in one go, didn't it? We got to get better at fighting. We are bad at fighting. But luckily, we have points for that. So more damage, yes. More damage. More defense as well. Uh, what does that do? Stun resistance? Stunning seems like it'd probably get me killed pretty fast. Let's also get some more inventory space, if you would, please. I liked it better in the old days. What happened is there was a backpack, and you clicked it right here, and it opened up a second row of buttons. I think that was more elegant than it just having, like, extended stuff running off all over the place on cold right now. I can fix that. That's, like, easy peasy, man. That's like easy peasy, mate. Okay, so we'll throw that inside of there. What do we need for the next upgrade? We need three iron. And we need three tendons for the next upgrade here. I'm trying to get us to, like, bone gear and stuff like that. Uh, continue. How much ore does it take to make an iron? 30? Oh, wow. Okay, so it takes you, like, a grip. We'll cook our dinner while we're over here, too. Get all these mushrooms and everything smelted. You ever wonder how, like, primitive societies figured out, like... Because for some mushrooms, there's, like, a three-step process before you can eat them. And it's actually pretty complicated. Same thing with some fish. And yet, like, Vikings, Native Americans, like, tribal peoples all over figured out, like, the eight-step process to, like, refine this food that absolutely will kill you. Like, it is deadly. You will die unless you do that very specific sequence of events. And yet, somehow, they figured it out. You ever wonder if they just, like, die over and over and over again until they figure it out? Like, what was the sequence of events? It's like, one guy tried it, and he died. The next guy tried cooking it, and he died. The next guy tried cooking it and then burying it under a certain type of stones that are leaching, like, a certain kind of lie into the soil. You know, like, how did they figure that out? I want to know. Was it, like, a multi-hundred years thing? Like, maybe it was just a guy cooked the mushroom in the fire in the soil that had the lie in it? Like, how did they figure it out? How did they figure it out? I think I was fighting that wolf with my axe. I think that's what went wrong right there, is I wasn't actually using my spiked stick. I don't think the spiked stick is that much better, but it's something. And if I can just, like, get to the point where I can kill animals, we're going to be okay. Uh, let's go ahead and get leveled up leather as well, and that'll give us an even better drop chance for leather. 
And then I think we've pretty much hit this area with everything we can hit it with. I think we're like solid right now. And with the extra inventory space, we can go inside. Yeah, we can go inside and we can kind of get ourselves squared away, I think. Go and eat one of those. Let's go like search this place and see what it's got inside of it because I didn't hit any of these cabinets, so. Drawer, what you got for me, pal? Electrical scrap. Sounds good. Haven't had a use for the electrical scrap yet, but I'm assuming we're going to use it to build some kind of like industrial laser cannon down the line so that we can just be like legit and then nature will fear us as we hunt it with high powered, technologically advanced lasers. A little bit of scrap. Oh, we got a token for the vending machine. Hell yeah, dude. I was wondering where we we're going to find some of those. So now we can go down to the basement. We can use that to get food out of the vending machine. I think we've mostly got the stuff that'll stack for right now. I wonder how hard it is to make bandages in this game. Can't be like that difficult, right? Anything in the stove? A huge piece of meat. An incredibly filling piece of meat. Okay. The onion seeds are a temptation, but we're really like suffering from a lack of storage space right now, aren't we? Like I can come back and pick the stuff up, but maybe we'll just run it back to base for now. Oh, there's another wolf. Lame, dude. Yeah, this time he doesn't want to mess around, huh? Yup, this time you get whooped on. Yeah, and we got some leather right there, and we got some meat. Hold up, we got leather and meat? Yes, we do. Well, now that we got leather, we're like well on our way to accomplishing the things that we want to accomplish. I'd like to set up another away base over by the bunker, too. I'm all finished up with the stuff you got me, so if you come back, that'd be great. Uh, listen, man. Listen. I'm a little busy right now. Like, life's a little intense for me at the moment. If you could just, like, fall back for a second, I think we'd be okay. But up until then... I'm a man on a mission. I got stuff going on. I got people to see, stuff to accomplish. All right. It's not easy out here being me. Swap over to the axe, dude. I was like spamming the X button right there, but it didn't want to swap for me. It was just taking its sweet time. Oh, we got another gathering level though. Hell yeah, man. Okay, so let's build all the goodies over here too, because like we're gonna need like a forge. So I'm gonna put in the workshop on, well, maybe not the workshop. Actually, I think the one thing we do need is like storage crates. So since I can't put those indoors, I'm gonna put them outdoors. Nice. Okay, I can upgrade it too? Yeah, upgrade it, why not? We got plenty of stuff. Oh my God, so much storage space. So much of the storage space. Make a protein like storage space, yeah. All right, so we'll throw that in there. And we'll throw the leathers in there, and we'll throw that in there, and then we got a little bit of that. Yeah! Feeling pretty solid about our life direction right now, chat. Feeling pretty solid about it. Unfortunately, it's back to crafting things like a rube with my bare hands, because that's just how life works. And we got another wolfy friend, and my health is kind of too busted for me to pull off what I want to pull off here. I'm going to go around the horn. See if I can lose him on that side, right? And then we got the workshop over here. I'm gonna mash that out real fast. You know, tactical superiority over these wolves. Get a little bit of health back so that maybe we can survive another scuffle. Wildlife is really becoming a bit of a perturbance right now, all right? Wildlife is actively conspiring and seeking to wipe me out. I add another healing level right there, too. All right, good. We got healing. Let's go fight this dude. Yo, you don't want to do this, Wolfie. You don't want to know me like that, because these streets are rough. Yeah. Oh, you dropped a bone. That's good. A dog with a bone. Have you ever known a greater stereotype? My dog loves his bone, though. So to be fair, it is a real thing. My dog is, like, down with the bone life, okay? You give that dog a bone, he's going to be sitting on that thing all day working on it. Uh, we've got all of our storage stuff right now. I want to go downstairs and see what's on the vending machine. Let's go look. Oh, I found a new room, too, that we hadn't been in. A greenhouse. Genetically modified tomato seeds in the auto kitchen, huh? Oh, sweet, man. 
Can we just, like, automatically do this? Oh, my God. That's so much easier than having a campfire. Thank you, sweet Lord Baby Jeebus. That's pretty rad. Uh, what can I do with this stuff over here? Like, how do I cultivate and do wonderful things? Plant the seeds. Red of the pepper. Okay, for now... That's dill. Green onion. Didn't we have tomato? Is that what it was? Yeah, it looks like it. I think we've got it set up. I think. It looks like he planted the tomato seeds. Sweet. So whenever we find, like, seeds, we can actually make food and stuff. Nice. Okay. Sounds good to me. Uh, where was the transit hub at? I don't even remember where the transit hub was. Like around here somewhere, wasn't it? Yeah, the transit station over here. No, nope. go into the transit. Nope, go to the transit station, please. Go into the transit station, please. I appreciate it. Thank you. Now we're in the train. I want to spend these tokens. What did we get? Oh, nice, dude. Some, like, granola slushy bars and stuff. Oh, I thought that I was just going to put stuff in there. It was going to be, like, gambling, and you got random stuff out. Oh, wow. Okay, so apparently the map got a lot bigger since the last time I played, too. I thought you were just going to put tokens in, and it would give you random items. I've got the dumpster over here. We might as well throw the rot inside the dumpster. I think we need it for fertilizing or something like that anyway, so no biggie there. Now let's take everything else back outside, and I know we've been doing a lot of inventory management this time around, but frankly, like, I'm trying to set up a nice little home that we can live inside of, and that we can be safe at, and not have to worry about other things going wrong, basically. I'll keep the token on me, actually, just in case I find anything else around. And uh, we'll pack... I need a pickaxe very, very badly, and I need an axe very badly, so we'll get both of those. Throw the pickaxe in there, throw the axe in there, and I'm gonna go harvest some materials, okay? All right, we have enough wood to last a little while. Now I think the only real thing that we need to succumb is the lack of ore that we have on us. There's just like these concurrent crafting jobs that you always need stuff for, like making campfires when it's too cold and things of that nature. And so while we are farming out some of the materials right now for a lot of this stuff, a lot of this is just like future prepping for when things go wrong, which they will inevitably go wrong. It's just like part of this game is that eventually you're going to get caught in a blizzard, you're going to have a problem, and that's going to be life. Let's use this club. We're going to kill this pig over here. I'm okay with a little game of pig smacking for right now. There we go. Another bone. I need leather more than I need anything else. Like, I would love to get some leather out, but it doesn't seem to want to give it to me for the moment. I got a little bit of health missing. Probably eat like two of those. That'll get us like back up to like 80 health, maybe. Even better. Almost 90. Oh! Apparently, meat is extra healy today. We got these fried mushrooms over here. I should probably ditch those. Yeah, we'll just throw those on the ground. It says they're rotten. All right, so we've got a couple upgrades. Let's upgrade our attack power one more time. We will upgrade our hunting one more time to get tendons. So that those will sporadically drop while we're out and about. Are we in like a blizzard right now? We are. Let's go to our shelter and sleep for a little bit. Alright, so the blizzard's officially over. So we can pack up all of our stuff and get on the road here. And before things get any gnarlier. We got plenty of survival food or whatever. So I think it's a good idea for us to just kind of explore around. We'll follow the lights, or we'll follow the power poles up here. In general, in a survival situation, this is not going to be a working strategy because there are thousands of like miles of power cables running all throughout the hinterland of like the United States and other countries. It will lead you to something eventually, but there's just no guarantee how long it's going to be before it leads you to that something. So like that's what you gotta kinda watch out for. Oh no. I think my club is almost broken. I was say when that club runs out, we're gonna have issues. Luckily my hands are like registered lethal weapons at this point. So it doesn't even really matter that much, but eat one of those real fast to get some health moving. Just to see what we've got. I'm going to kind of stay on the edge of this boundary right here. Oh, we're cold again. We're always cold. I'm like eternally cold. I don't really want to make a campfire. I'd prefer not to. Let's say maybe we'll find something useful over here. Get some berries. Yeah, get the berries, man. Eat both of those. Got a, like a grumpy deer over here. Is it warm inside? Oh, thank God, it's warm inside. Uh, did my flashlight go out?
won't turn on without bat. Oh, it's broken again. Okay, so like I forgot to turn it off and now I'm gonna live with the consequences of that decision. Sounds good. Consequences happen. We weren't paying attention. Oh, we found a baseball bat. Yeah. Okay, now now we're ready to thug out. We got a do-it-yourself taser over here. A little generator action on that side. A little bit extra peanut butter. Another broken flashlight. I just want the peanut butter, man. That's survival food right there. That's the good stuff. You can find enough peanut butter to get by. You'll be okay. A little bit more scrap for crafting projects we might have in front of us in the near future. Doesn't look like... Oh, we can get into this card box here. What's in the card box? Chemicals. Okay, some chemicals. I think... Can I get into these storage crates over here? Like these shipping containers? Let's see if I can get into those. That'd be a pretty swell deal as well. Find out where the power lines go. Yep, that's exactly what we're trying to do right now. Ooh, that's a big wolf right there. That's a dire wolf. We don't want to mess with him. Even with our current gear, we're not going to be able to handle the dire wolf. The big woolly ones that have the hackles on them, man. Those are the ones that will take you to task. They will convert your giblets into poo, and it will be the worst. I'm just going to kind of explore around for a second and see what I can find out in this area. I think it's a good idea. Dude, I'm just enamored with this game. Like, I love playing this game. Every time there's, like, a feature content release on it, I just can't help myself. I feel like playing it, like, nonstop. Oh, there's more power cables going up this way, too. Okay. We do have a blizzard, though, so we're going to be getting kind of cold real, real soon. Might be a decent idea to get ourselves back to shelter. I do... Oh, man, he came flying out the side like a UFC fighter. Get bludged. Get bludged, my guy. And you're just going to drop meat, huh? That's how it's going to be. You're just going to drop meat. You've disappointed me, wolf. Stone pickaxe right there. We could use it, but my inventory's full. I guess I could eat both the berries, and then we could take that. Yeah, there we go. That'll also supply us with a couple of HP. Not a lot, but something. Uh, let's get back to our... We're getting a lot of blizzards right now. Like, I can't... Uh... I'm having trouble getting stuff done. I think we're going to have to craft some kind of... I think we're going to have to craft some kind of, like, heat retention object. Otherwise, we're not going to make it. Like, i got to find something that will hold in some heat and keep us warm. There we go. We're back inside. We're going to be okay. We're out of time for the day. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me for another episode of The Wild 8. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you all later. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget, put a like on it. It's how I vague, like it's, it's how I vaguely judge what series people are engaged with. So if it doesn't do like a lot of views, but like 1,500 people like it, I know there's like a dedicated community that are like, we want more of this. Uh, comments help me out with that as well. I'll see you all later. Thank you for stopping on in. Get the game down below if you wanted to purchase it for yourself. It's officially out. Uh, in a couple of days. By the time this video go live, it may be out. I don't know what my scheduling is looking like right now. I will see you all later. Thank you for hanging out. Hi, do, and take care, everybody.